Hello everybody, welcome again to my channel. It's Mama Girls here. Today we are not doing comedies. Today we are going to have some little talk together here about life. And this time, I know many parents who are taking their children to Form 1 or who are supposed to take their children to Form 1 are having a lot of pressure here and there. I would like to advise you to give you some pieces of advice or share with you some tips on how you can cope with this situation and uh, don't let it stress you up so much because the child still need you, needs you throughout secondary school. The child still needs you in college. You, they need you to be there and they need you to be there even when they'll be working and in their marriage so that you can be a good shosho, a good grandmother, a good nyanya. All right, so I know the number one big problem that is that your parents are facing now is uh, school fees. There are, we have various categories of parents. We have the parents who had saved for their children from childhood, and we have those parents who live from hand to mouth who could have, who could not have saved. And then we have parents who didn't save, who didn't save, but they save through circles and other organizations. Now for the parents who've been saving since the child was born, congratulations, she will not have a lot of challenges. Yours is now to just buy all the requirements, provide the transport, take your child to school. For the parents who have not been saving because they live hand to mouth and that makes the majority of our parents, we understand your situation. I know you will be castigated by others. They will say, what have you been doing? They will say in Kiswahili, Kwani hau kujua uko na mtoto anafanya mtiani? Kwani ni hau kujipanga? But I'm telling you, don't worry. I understand you. It is not your mistake. You are not to blame. You did all that you can. I know there are so many hardworking parents in Kenya. But the opportunities are sealed by a few the capitalist system, the individualist system, they don't allow you to, to explore more. There are parents who overwork, you work two jobs, day and night, but you still can't save for your child. I understand. It's happening. So you're now wondering how you're going to do to take your child to secondary school, how you're going to meet these financial costs. And I can just give you some few advices. Advice number one, take advantage of the scholarships and bursaries. Take advantage of the scholarships and bursaries. The scholarships are so many. We have the Equity Bank scholarships, Elimu scholarship and Wings to Fly. There is also Cooperative Bank scholarships. There is Jomo Kenyatta Foundation scholarships. There is KCB Bank scholarships. Just go online, find these scholarships. Or if you know any parent who is wondering, who, who is stuck, who doesn't know where to start, and you, you're watching this program today, just go online, download the forms for them, and take it to them. Not all parents have access to the internet. Help a parent out there. To, to to find ways of taking a bright child, every child or any child to secondary school. The transition should be 100%. Let us help each other. Now, these forms, most of them are available online. You can download and print and then fill them. These forms are also available in the offices, the branches of these banks and organizations all over the country. Just ensure if your child has met, is eligible, has met all the criteria, then apply. That one is a great opportunity for you to get scholarship for your child. Most of these scholarships run from Form 1 to Form 4. So you will be assured that your child will learn throughout the secondary education without you having to have sleepless nights. Another option, I know uh, uh, they will provide transport and other and school fees, but there are things that you will need to provide as a parent. 
so if you are really you you are really stuck and you you are also in crb there are many ways of getting some small loans from viamas small small credit organizations go explain yourself carry the child's admission uh, calling letter or admission letter as proof and ask for the money so that you can get your child the necessities like a box uh, the mattress uh, bed sheets etc if he is going he or she is joining a, a boarding secondary school apart from that you can also sell some of the things you do not need around you so some of the things you do not need in the house you have two refrigerators they are working sell one use the money to partially fund the child's secondary school you have chicken you rare chicken sell some or you rare goats or any other sell them so that you can get some money to take your child to school and then the good thing is that the ministry of, De of education today your schools will provide you with an annual uh, fee structure the, the the annual cost i believe principals are understanding so you can break the the, the cost into three three terms the terms will be so close to each other so that you work on a certain cost per term for example let's use the minimum provided national school fee for a, for the, for the whole year which is 45000 shillings you can break that into three you will have 15000 shillings that is just school fees leave out the other the, the other costs then now with this 15000 shillings you divide it into the two months so that you pay at least eight and the other month you pay seven and uh, you do that for the other two terms and by December you'll be smiling as you wait <laughs> as your daughter or son joins from two the other option is also to apply for the bursaries especially for parents you the, the, the widows the widowers and people who are really finding it tough the low-income families that can't just make it visit your CDF office visit other relevant offices make your application and when you go there make your case clear just do a real case so that they understand your situation and help you I'm still appealing to the people who are watching this YouTube uh, program that you might be watching these but you don't have a child going joining from one but you know someone in your village in the neighborhood who has a child joining from one and you know that their situation is very bad please I appeal to you kindly share this information with them help them to download the scholarship forms help them feel you can volunteer to follow up with them to the relevant offices and organizations so that they can get money or they can get these children to school that is the way we do it in africa we help each other i don't think individualism is african at all no individualism is not an african culture african culture is communism we help each other we grow together as a community when one person excels in our community the whole community has excelled don't leave a child out there don't let a, a, a child not join school or join school in tears because they don't even have soap they don't have shoes help you don't have to give money you can do what I have just said just guide a parent or guide parents or guardians on how to get some funds for their children to go to school we want to see all the from one children in school lastly parents and guardians 
I know it's not an easy time for you. It's the time when your heart races, it beats faster than normal. And you need to take care of yourself because <laughs> your health is very important, especially mental health. Please make sure that after a day of work and uh, the thoughts of how you're going to meet these costs, take some time to relax. You can do simple relaxation activities like breathing in and breathing out, like walking around or jogging. You can also visit friends or fellow parents whose children are supposed to join from one and just chat around that issue, laugh it out, laugh out, even if you don't have school fees, laugh out. God is going to do something good for you. I wish all parents who are taking their children to Form 1 all the best. May God see you through the process. If you have not, if you have not su subscribed to my channel, please do it at Mama Girls and hit the notification bell so that you get my videos anytime I upload a new one. Thank you and God bless you.